rotation about an axis parallel to coordinate axis. So first we are going to see what is mean by parallel to coordinate axis. That is important thing. See, rotation about an axis parallel to coordinate axis. So previously we have seen the object is placed within the axis x, y, z. The object is placed within the object like this. Not possible to draw perfectly. Okay, suppose this is our object. It is within the axis x, y, and z. But if our object is parallel to the original axis, then how to perform the transformation? So rotation of an about an axis parallel to coordinate axis. So see here example. This q, whether it is on uh, original coordinates x, y, z, no. Here this x dash, this it is parallel x dash which is parallel to this x. Y dash is parallel to y and z dash is parallel to z. Means it is not on the original axis. The object is not within the original coordinates x, y, z. It is the, with the coordinates which are parallel to the original coordinates. For, for that, what we need to do? As already some part we have seen in 2D, for that we need to do or the three steps are there. First, we need to translate this object which is on the parallel axis to the original axis. Translate the object until the local axis, we call it as the local axis. Okay, this x dash, y dash and z dash, we call it as the local axis. Suppose we want to rotate this object about the x-axis. If we want to rotate the about this local x-axis, sorry, x-axis. Then, first what we need to do? We need to translate it to the original x-axis, correct? If we want to rotate this object to this x-axis, first we need to translate it to the original x-axis. So, for that, translate the object until the local axis is coordinate with the original axis in the same direction. Then rotate whatever we want to rotate with the angle about the axis. X axis if it is rotated about the x axis with some angle. And then after rotation again translate it back to the original position. After rotation again translate it back to the original position. See once again if you want to rotate an object with the axis parallel to coordinate axis. It is not with the original coordinate axis. For that, suppose we want to rotate it to x dash. First, we need to make that local axis translate it up to the coordinate axis, original coordinate axis. First, we require the translation matrix. It is shown here, TR. What is this? Sorry, axis is the translation matrix. To translate that axis the object on that local axis to the original coordinate axis first we require the transformation matrix that is tr next rotation is there what we are going to perform with the object that is rx is the appropriate rotation matrix and next again we need to inverse back the translation that is tr inverse means translated back to the local axis after completion of the rotation so that we are going to do here with example. After this, so we consider this object we have given one example directly we are going to see here. So, here this object is given with the position vector A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here you can observe it is not with, along with the X, Y and Z coordinate. 0 is not there. So, it is parallel to X, Y and Z coordinate this object. So, it is here. Whatever the values are given here. According to this is our object and that we are going to rotate it.
so this object is given here and according to the values the position vector this is our object that we are going to rotate now for rotation of this object what we need to do first we need to translate it correct using y and z coordinate so that it becomes coincident with the x coordinate now in this example here we assume that rotate this object rotate this object or the block with angle theta plus 30 degree about local x axis x s axis so first we need to coincident with the x axis through the centroid of the block so centroid of the block is given here that is x c y c and uh, z c that is centroid of the block so that we can rotate it the centroid of the block is 3 by 2 in x direction, 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 in y and z direction. One is the homogeneous coordinate. Now this one we are going to perform here. We are going to find out the final rotation matrix. For that, first we need to translate it along with the y and z using the y and z coordinate centroid, so that it becomes coincident with the x coordinate. And for that, we do here minus y. C and minus Z C we use here, so that the object becomes coincident with the x coordinate. After that, putting this value, this is our first translation matrix C R. Next, we are going to once it is coincident with the x axis, then rotate it. What angle is given here for the rotation? 30 degree. So the rotation matrix along the x axis. Cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, cos theta, counterclockwise. We are using counterclockwise because counterclockwise it is positive, and clockwise always it is negative. And that's why here we consider counterclockwise values to put 30 here and cos 30, sin 30, minus sin 30, and cos 30. We will get this value. So that is the second matrix we will get here. Rotation about 30 degree, and then. After rotation, translate it back to the original. For that, it is here zero, uh, x c, uh, sorry, y c, z c, and one. Okay. Again, use the same with positive values. Here we use negative. Now it is positive, so it is zero, three by two, three by two, and one. Zero, three by two, and three by two, one. So these three. Transformation matrices here. Now all these multiply with the original position vector. We will get the final result. Okay. So all these uh, are multiplied here. T R R X and T R is one, and then we will get the result. Cos theta, sin theta, and in this way. After putting this value, y c is equal to three by two. Z C is equal to three by two, and theta is equal to thirty. We will get this transformation matrix. We will get this transformation matrix by putting these values in this transformation matrix. We put these values and multiply it with the original position vector. Then we will get the final result. Okay, so that is the final result. Shown here in this one B diagram. So it is rotated first. It is made coincident with this x-axis in this way. Then rotated again, translated back to the original position. Now the multiple relative rotation. Multiple relative rotation means in the single relative rotation we use only one local axis that is x dash as an example. You can use y y dash axis. You can rotate through z dash axis. Any one you can use. One example we have seen. Now in multiple relative rotation we translate the local axis object at local axis to make it coincident with the global coordinate system. All. All x, y, z, all we are going to use here. So only difference is that in the previous we use if x dash axis we want to 
plotted, then we use Y C and Z C. Correct? But here all three coordinates or the centroid value we require. That is X C, Y C, and Z C, so that it becomes coordinate with the global axis. Then perform the required rotation and translate it back to the local axis. So example is again the same example we are using here. Here only think that in this example two rotations are done on the object. The first rotation of through the x uh, sorry rotate uh, delta angle 45 degree about y axis followed by a rotation theta 30 degree about the x axis. Both the axis rotation is done here. Then again the centroid used are same. So here the transformation matrix first x c y c z c so that the local axis becomes coincident with the global axis. Local axis becomes coincident with the local axis. Then the next rotation through y axis with angle phi. So it is 45 degree and then the next rotation through x axis that is rx through 30 degree. So you can observe here cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta for y axis rotation this is the standard transformation matrix and for x axis this is the standard transformation matrix. After performing these two rotation again inverse the previous translation that is plus xc yc and zc. So put the, uh, these values are here, whatever, again use x c is equal to 3 by 2, y c is equal to 3 by 2, z c is equal to 3 by 2, angle phi, theta phi is 45 degree and theta is equal to 30 degree. So putting all these five values, the previous one, it is All these four matrices, these are concatenated together or combined together. Once we combine it, we get this result. We get this result after concatenating these four matrices. Then put these values, five values here and then we will get this result. And this, we put these values, then we will get this result and then multiply it with the original position vector. We will get this result. And after this, this is the final diagram you can see here. After rotation or multiple rotations, two rotations are done here or with the global axis we translate it. Clear? That is about the rotation about an axis parallel to the coordinate